Hi, I'm Guru from IT for Change. IT for Change is an NGO in Bangalore, India. We all know that we live in an information or knowledge society, which is essentially a digital society. It is a digital nature of knowledge that makes it sharing, creating, access and use so much easy and possible. And software as digital tools is what we create digital knowledge with. Unfortunately, we have got used to a situation where we think digital means proprietary and we can only be consumers licensing software or pirating it. In my work with teachers, people working in government and non-government organizations over the last seven years, I find people warming up to the idea that digital is something that they can create together for the benefit of all of us. So my vision is of a society in which the word digital is considered synonymous with sharing and collaborating. A society in which people come together to create digital software tools for the use of all of us. A society in which knowledge is co-constructed by all of us for the benefit of all. And especially a society in which the knowledge needs of the marginalized are given importance. And both the knowledge needs are met and their own knowledge is made available to the mainstream. I would like to achieve this vision in my home state of Karnataka. In practical terms, schools are the best place to begin. We all know that schools are the place where teachers prepare students to face the world of tomorrow. And education is also the space in which we recreate society of tomorrow. So if we can have a school system in which teachers and students learn to use the digital as something that they can co-create and share, we'll be putting the foundation for creating a society of tomorrow in which the digital becomes synonymous with the public. I plan to work with the Karnataka education system in a program called the Subject Teacher Forum. In this program, teachers in high schools who are math teachers, science teachers and social science teachers are working to use a variety of digital tools, whether it's free mind, or LibreOffice, or GeoGebra, or Step, or KTurtle, to create learning resources in different subjects. This year we'll be working with teachers in 828 schools, and over the next two, three years, we plan to cover 4,000 high schools in Karnataka. This is a very large number, and when we have teachers in 4,000 schools familiar with using digital tools, using these free digital tools to co-create knowledge resources, we'll be creating a very sound foundation for a digital public in the Karnataka state. Apart from working with the government school teachers, I will also work with non-governmental organizations which are in Karnataka like Dazim Prindi Foundation, American Day Foundation. They have their volunteers across the entire state who can provide support to the teachers. During this year, our teachers in 828 schools will create resources in math, science and social sciences which is available on our web portal rmsa.karnatakaeducation.org.in Over the next two years, teachers working in English, in Kannada, Hindi, all the languages as well as other subjects, will also be creating resources, thereby creating a huge resource portal for teachers working in grades 8, 9, 10, 10 to use in Karnataka as well as in India and across the world. I also plan to work with teachers' unions and uh, senior officials in the government departments, also people in media, so that the whole idea of public software and the idea of sharing resources is kept in the public discourse. In this activity, of course, the role of our friends in the free software community is very, very important. So I will certainly take the help and support of people working in the free software community as well as in open source entities to support teachers and to support people working in NGOs in using public software tools. This project has a larger goal, which is to establish our belief in ourselves in our ability to collaborate and to build better public systems and better commons. The proprietary forces in this world are very strong. But projects like these can demonstrate that collaborating benefits all of us. I look forward to support from the Shuttleworth Foundation to build a knowledge society for all, of all, by all, where we all can be citizens with full rights to create, store, share and use knowledge. Thank you.